we have a lot of potential in terms of transshipment. And we have agreed that we form a team to see how we can uh, make the port of Mombasa and the port of Lamu to be uh, more conducive for transshipment because we stand a very uh, big uh, opportunity there. And Kenya Ports Authority have committed to do whatever it takes to make Mombasa and Lamu to be the leading port in this region in the area of transshipment. We are charged higher charges than all the ports in Sub-Saharan Africa. And the shipping companies are here. And we have got a, a page, uh, Your Excellency. You can compare for yourself how much we are paying to the shipping lines and how much Dar uh, es Salaam is paying, how much Dalban is paying, we are getting the raw end of the stick. And not just the charges, but even the free days allowed. We are getting nine days. Uh, Dalban is getting up to 45 days. DRC is getting 15 days. So there's very uneven treatment by the shipping companies. And by the way, in Tanzania, they tried to do this. Tanzania refused because their regulator could not stomach this. So we have agreed with my senior brother, uh, C.S. Mvuria, that Kenya Maritime Authority has to get its act in order. They have to wake up. And we need protection because it is the right of every port user to be protected. We do not have any purview over shipping lines. But the Kenya Maritime Authority, as a regulator, will step in. We have agreed they will do whatever is required to ensure that we are not even asking for better. Just treat us the same as you treat the other ports in Africa. Yeah, Don't treat us any better. Let us just be treated in the same way. The practice in other parts of the world is that before any cargo lands in the port, all the pre-port operations are done in advance, whether it is imports, whether it is exports. And we want to have that here. We are about the only port in the world where we come here and we start procedures here. We want, by the time the goods land here, they just go straight through. We have a new slogan we have adopted, that the port is not a bedroom. It is not a place to keep the goods. It is not a storage. The port is supposed to be a transit area. And in this regard, we have requested the Kenya Revenue Authority to adjust their systems to enable us to be able to log uh, our documents and our procedures the minute it leaves the other point of source. And the same thing with, the same thing with our exports. Before someone brings a, a container of avocado from Muranga, let us finish with the procedures from Muranga so that when the container comes in here, it just leaves without having to spend time here.